Hello children, how are you? I am Masood Fatima. I will teach you social studies. In this video is for the students of class 5th. In this video, I will teach you your 4th chapter that is evolution of communication. Hello children, let's start our chapter 4, evolution of communication. First, I will read out the chapter. Okay? Communication involves being in touch with others through speaking, writing, reading or traveling. The written or painted records of the early humans tell a lot about them. Development in the use of numbers and writing led to the progress of the early humans. The next heading is need for writing. Anything that is in writing can be preserved for a long time. Moreover, written records are like evidences which enable a lot of understanding and progress. Oral messages or information can be erased from the memory. However, written words remain. They can even be used for research purposes. The drawings, paintings and writings of the early humans reveal a lot of correct information about them. Initially, the early humans made drawings and paintings on the walls of the caves where they lived. Then they started using symbols which led to the development of script. The earliest form of writing was developed by the Sumerians. It had wedged shaped words and symbols and was called cuneiform. Egyptians used a system of picture writing called hieroglyphic. In India, the people of the Indus Valley civilization used the oldest script. The script is now deciphered yet. Brahmi script came next. The Devanagari script is based on sound. Now I will explain it to you. So first of all children you must know what is communication. As I read in the beginning that is communication is like interaction. So the term communication means to give or interchange thoughts, feelings, information like by writing or speaking or gesturing etc. Just like uh, the evolution of mankind and transportation. Evolution of communication has also gone through many stages and has come a long way. Then development in the use of numbers and writing. You know that led to the progress of the early humans. First Early humans during the stone age started to communicate and express their thoughts and feelings by signs and gestures. Means hand signals, sounds and their facial expression. They were able to send signals by fire and smoke, beating drums and whistling or making sound such as sometimes at a low pitch means social information and at a high pitch means as a warning sign. It acted like warning sign. Later on they started to communicate through cave paintings. Then they started using animals like camels, pigeons, then postcard system, telephone, telegraph, all that etc. etc. to communicate. So the question arises that uh, why people felt a need for writing. So uh, you know that written matters or facts can be preserved or can be kept as a proof for a long period of time which can be used as references whenever we need or to clarify our doubts or understand any fact 
where we are puzzled or confused like about the early humans how we came to know we came to know about the some written records some uh, writings uh, scripts on the or uh, paintings on the walls of the caves like that only and oral messages they can't be remembered for a longer time the written messages can also be used for research purposes okay so mm, moreover there are lots of different reasons for communicating some of the most important reasons during the stone age were getting things what we need to live as food shelter and love etc and later on the development of trade was one of the several important factors that created a need for writing and first of all the earliest system of writing that was invented by sumerians uh, in an ancient mesopotamia that is cuneiform and mesopotamia that is today it is iraq okay around 5500 years ago it was invented and it had wedge shaped words and symbols marked on clay tablets by using reed as a pen to make marks uh, on wet tablet what is reed reed is uh, mm, a tall cylinder leaved plant its harder part is used um, in order to engrave or make mark on the wet clay tablet and then it was dried and then it was used as a um, document so then came the hieroglyphics hieroglyphic it was a system of pictorial writing used by the egyptian it was particularly used on ancient egyptian monuments okay then came the indus valley civilization was an ancient civilization located in what is today pakistan and northwest india the people of the indus valley civilization used the oldest scripts containing symbols the symbols are extremely short that uh, it's difficult to judge whether these symbols constitute a script used to record a language or even symbolize a writing system so it was difficult to Uh, convert it to language it was in it was so short written next came the brahmi script it is the earliest writing system developed in india after the indus script then came devanagari script it is derived from brahmi script it is used to write many indian nepalese languages indian and nepalese languages such as hindi sanskrit marathi bhojpuri and nepali of course etc it's written left to right okay, brahmi script is fully developed and universal script okay then came the use of numbers this i am going to uh, read now the early humans used pebbles and sticks for counting later counting on fingers became popular with the passage of time various ways of writing numbers came into existence the sumerians used special shapes to count in 60s the roman numeral system was developed by the romans the number system that is in use today was developed in india this hindu arabic system was taken by the arabs to europe moreover the concept of zero was also india's gift to the world then use of pigeons in olden days 
people used pigeons to send letters to people living at far off places people realized that homing pigeons had the ability to fly back to their homes so people trained pigeons to use them as a means of communication briefly written messages were tied to the legs of the pigeons and they flew away to deliver them moreover for not very far off places people rode on horses with a message in their hand such ways of communication continued for nearly 3000 years till the 20th century now the use of numbers as i told you that uh, you know the earliest humans used sign language for the communication of numbers too later they started tally system tallies were made by carving notches in wood bone and stones notches means uh, v shaped or circular cut in the bone or stones or wood okay then they started counting using pebbles and sticks then they later started counting on fingers then it was the sumerians who developed a base 60 system with numbers less than 60 represented in base 10 then came the new roman numeral roman numerals you know today also it's taught in your maths roman numerals the number system which you are reading or using today was developed in india and it is known as the hindu arabic system later it was taken by the arabs to europe hindu arabic number system is uh, that is, it is a set of 10 symbols 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 0 okay but 0 was invented much after these nine digits and 0 was a gift by india to the world okay then comes the use of pigeons now use of pigeons as i told you that in olden days people people used animals some animals like pigeons camels horses to deliver messages you know pigeons were the effective messengers due to their natural homing ability and speed they were also used to send messages in world war first and world war second now the question comes how they carried the messages so briefly written short messages were tied to the legs of pigeons briefly written short written messages were tied to the legs of the pigeons and they flew away to deliver them moreover for not very far off places people rode on horses with the messages in their hands and also people used to deliver their messages to a person who delivered it while riding a camel okay so that's all for these topic about these topics uh, means uh, need for writing use of numbers use of pigeons all that is and the uh, other topics like printing invention of printing press invention of telephone computers telegraph radio television cinema uh, communication satellite all these i'll be explaining you in my next video till then thank you and